I took a vacation. And I lied to my job about it. <laughs> but I don't care because I'm quitting my job. Incredible. One of the worst performances of my career and they never doubted it for a second. And I do care. But I was having a mental health breakdown, so it was like... Oh, shit. Here we go. Again. A f again. Nothing new, nothing changed, same old shit. Anyway, I didn't put in for the time off. Oh, there's all these rules to exist. I don't understand them. So. How are you doing today, Jasmine? <sighs> but you did this for what? Why not? <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> Why though? I'm trying to move between them, but also I hate lying. But it's like, I have to get out of here. But it's like, I, by any means necessary. What does that mean? It means buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. I needed that vacation, bro. I thought I was gonna kill myself. I used to think about death all the time. I'd wake up dead. It's like, ugh. And I wasn't even sad. I was just burnt out. I'd go to lunch dead. I was sad because I was burnt out. I go to sleep at night, wonder if I'm gonna die. Dead, dead, gonna die. Worm food one day. That's crazy. <laughs> Ugh, it didn't have to be so dramatic. It's like I'm leaving this job soon anyway, and I'm about to leave. I'm about to leave. I'm I'm making a radical change in my life, and I think there's some growing pains to getting there. You know, you definitely caught me on a bad whiff. I just got off of a 12-hour shift. And I'm rolling into another shift. And I worked yesterday. And in between the last shift, I eight hour shift I did yesterday, 12 hour shift I started that night, I went to go see my son's violin concert an hour away. Warm food one day. And because I had to lie about it's like, I'm so tired of this life. These rules, these constructs. It's like, I am so tired. And it's like, I box myself in, but also I allowed others to box me in. I must get free. I'm a gummy bear, gummy bear. Bad at all. 
I hate lying. Why can't we all just live our truth? I feel like we're all lying all the time anyway. Please stop emailing me in corporate jargon. What are we talking about? What are we even talking about? I don't know. I took an illegal vacation. I just did it. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm tired. I'm going to quit my job and run away. <laughs> now, I'm not afraid of death at all. In fact, I can't wait to die. Honestly, I cannot wait to die. Uh, you know, I wake up in the morning, I'm disappointed. I'm gonna look for a better life, bro. I'm so, I'm done. I'm so close to being done that it's hard to care. I don't choke on my food at lunch. I'm disappointed. I worked like 7.30 yesterday morning to 3.30 yesterday afternoon. I got home for 30 minutes. I took like seven cute pictures in my car and then I had to go to my son's violin concert and he smashed it and we all had a good time. My son is so talented. After that, I, I left the concert early, was still late to work, <sighs> got to my second, don't patronize me. <laughs> Sat in traffic, was 30 minutes late for my overnight job where I worked 8.30 to 8.30. And I was up by six. I was logged in because if I was gonna be sitting there having tea, discussing current events, and trying to stimulate my patient's mind, my 93, 90, 90? We're sorry, all circuits are busy. Please try again later. And don't ask me about this outfit choice. It's like what I could manage. Yeah, my 90 year old patient, I like, I, get, I pull out my computer and I just punch in, I work. <laughs> I work two jobs at the same time because it's like, I will do my job and I'll explain to her what I'm doing too. She likes that. It's stimulating for her brain and it's stimulating for me to get work done. So it's like, I, I pull an hour at work at my other job while I'm working. <laughs> I'm working in an, in, I'm inception jobbing and I still can't live. <laughs> now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go play in traffic. I'm gonna run away now. I'm done doing it this way. I don't like it anymore. I don't wanna do it anymore. I'm not gonna do it anymore. Me and my best friend are gonna run away and we're gonna make content and we're gonna live a little bit off grid, a little bit, you know, a little bo bohemian, a little bit like nomadic. And oh, I'm so excited. So it's like, I can barely contain my insanity. <laughs> I have four episodes filmed that I can barely finish because I'm so tired. I work 75 hours a week. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm done. And I'm just about to really change my life and I'm so excited to take you with me. I know most of my, it's like I literally live in my car anyway. So maybe it does look like I'm, but my apartment is so cute and I'm <laughs> crazy. <sighs> Chase your dreams, folks. All right, I have to go work another eight hours. So at least it's from home though, so. I'm also gonna work on some projects, like home projects, because I am moving. This is insane to put all of this in one episode. Well, what can I do? <laughs> I'm moving as well, so it's like it's very, it's a very busy time for me. <sighs> I'm so excited. Spring has sprung, and so have I. God, I hope you're out there and I hope you're chasing your dreams. I hope you're thinking about it even. You know, do the hard things. For me, it's gonna be changing my entire life because I'm tired of living like this I can't do it anymore I'm getting, if I'm gonna get myself then I might as well do something else that's like radical and healthy because I've been doing really well therapy yes you know uh -huh, going non-contact with people who were really negatively affecting my life that was huge working out getting healthy getting disciplined getting on a routine and really meditating on what i want for my life and like i'm so much healthier and i used to be so sick and i'm ready to talk about that because it's going to be nasty i was a very bad person mental health can make you a very bad person but i'm better now <laughs> yeah oh my god well i'm also a witch so i guess i'm a little bit magic huh? did you see that Okay, everything's gonna be fine and everything's gonna be good and nobody can stop us and...
welcome to my series where I do the hard things. It started with a root canal and it's gonna end with me moving across the country and changing my entire life and telling you every deep dark secret I have and also taking you on a journey with me because we're best friends. <laughs> I'm happy to have you, bestie. Welcome to do the hard things. I'm, I'm your host. borderline bell because it's like I want you to mental health is can be good it doesn't have to always be sad but sometimes it's very sad sometimes it's very sad but <laughs> we're gonna catch all of it I'm gonna share my because I'm gonna put the real bacon reality I love reality TV but we've gone far from it I'm pure <laughs> just like you <laughs> I'm a little bit nuts just like you and I'm gonna make it out of here. And if I can do it, you can do it. So, <sighs> that's crazy. Do the hard things, do the hard things. You can do it! <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go play in traffic. <laughs>